in the beginning of December 2022, I released a prophecy for England and the surrounding nations, how there's a storm going to come called the beast from the east. I saw a cold front hit England called the beast from the east. I saw the, the you know, public transport being affected, less fortunate, and um, that they are unable to heat their houses. It's kind of like, a, like an energy crisis is what I see. I saw a group of people almost like protesting. There is already disruption. Manchester Airport temporarily closing both runways, dozens of flights cancelled. We're definitely seeing an increase in women coming in, have somewhere to stay, but they can't afford to heat it. We've endured their worst power outage in decades. It has been cut off since Monday. They're gathering in these emergency shelters powered by generators. In the UK, a fresh wave of strike action that's expected to cause major disruption has begun. Train and postal services stand disrupted as their workers walked out over pay and conditions. Passengers now face four weeks of disruption. And the 19th. As you can see, it is a month full of disruption. Now, I do believe that this is still going to play out in 2023, that there's going to be some kind of event and it's going to bring about governmental changes in the nation of England. Now, the reason that I'm sharing this with you, you can go and watch uh, the video. I'll link it down below or I'll just put it up here. And the reason that I'm sharing that with you, because the word that I have today for South Africa is very similar in nature. It has to do with natural disasters. Now, the reason that, that we release these words is I, I believe the Lord wants us to pray into these events because I do not wish any of these things to actually happen you know, to people and businesses affected, definitely not to my nation. But these are the things that I saw and I want to be obedient with that. I want to release that. And then I want to call us to, to pray for these things. So I'm going to share a series of visions that I had. The first one was I saw the fire and the glory. And this can be like the title to the prophetic word is what I felt because the fire specifically, I saw union strikes and fires in Johannesburg. And I saw like a warehouse building. And then I also saw certain state owned buildings, government buildings, I saw fuel prices shooting up and also a fuel shortage taking place. I saw people standing in queue. I saw cars, long queues, waiting to fill up their cars because of this shortage, because of this uncertainty of when they will actually get fuel again. I saw airplanes grounded and transportation disruptions. I saw the transportation sector really getting knocked badly because of these events. I saw huge wildfires taking place in South Africa. Now, this specific wildfire, we do get them in the nation, but this specific one will grip the nation. I saw it making headlines. Everyone will know about this. It's going to be a very large fire is what I saw. Now, we really need to pray for the farmers, pray for the people affected. These kind of things have a huge ripple effect that we don't always see. Uh, if you live in town, but they have a huge ripple effect on the nation's economy, but also the, the, the people, you know, on those farms, the, the, the owners of those farms, the workers of those farms. It has a massive ripple effect. So we really need to pray for them. Lastly, I saw a mass immigration. I saw how this financial and economic uncertainty will grip many people with fear and how this this whole situation it's like everything became unclear as to where's the nation going and it really gripped people with fear i saw many people like a mass immigration many people more than the usual amount leaving south africa immigrating to other countries but i saw two groups of people and this was quite interesting I saw the first group of people immigrating because they were fearful of what is happening in South Africa because of the economic and financial uncertainty. The second group of people, I could only imagine that they would be believers because they were waiting on confirmation from the Lord as to when to move. It's like they've been sitting on the fence if they should go or stay. And this, these events 
will be like a final push for them. It will just push them over the edge and they will take the leap. Lastly, I heard the Lord say, do not be afraid for what you will see this year. Find your provision in my rest. I believe we are in for a very interesting year. I believe we're going to see some major shaking taking place. But I want to encourage you that I also saw the glory of the Lord. I saw how a tidal wave of God's glory is going to cover South Africa. And it's going to put out these demonic fires. I saw a, like an awakening of the body of Christ. How people are going to start you know, taking their call that God has given them serious in the year 2023. It's kind of like you don't want to miss what God is going to do in South Africa in 2023. I saw this being a very pivotal year for the good and the bad. Lastly, I, I got a verse. I got Isaiah 60 verses 2 to 3. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. You see, so I do believe the darkness is going to increase as scripture tells us. But I believe the glory of the Lord is greater. The mercy of the Lord is greater. And we're going to, we're going to see it tangibly upon people. The people that are going to answer to the call of the Lord upon their lives. So we need to pray for these people. We need to pray for these events. Pray for England. Pray for South Africa. I, of course, do not wish any of this to happen. Any people to, to you know, um, that their property be damaged or anything. But I do pray that the will of the Lord comes forth. And we know that we need a change in this nation. And however the Lord wants to do it, that is how he's going to do it. So... Bless you with this word. Pray for these people. And I'll see you next time for another word.